Hello, my name is Dr. Jeff Golini, and welcome to another episode of Ask the Scientist. This show is about busting myths and bringing you the truth. Hey, Curtis from Indiana sends me an email and says, Hello, Dr. Jeff. I have a question about creatine. I was told if I eat a good amount of red meat, I don't need to take creatine. Is this information accurate? Well, Curtis, that's a great question, and I'm going to assume that you are an active athlete, and that's the way I'm going to answer this question. First of all, realize that red meat does contain creatine, but depending on how you cook that meat will depend on how much creatine is left. If you like your meat well done, you're converting a good amount of it to creatinine. If you cook it on a barbecue under you know, high heat, you're converting that creatine to creatinine. I've got a book out there called The Dangers of Creatinine, which kind of talks about you know, meats and cooking and, and different types of things. A great book if anyone wants uh, to take a look at it. Um, I've got a few free copies. You can always email me. I'd be happy to send you one uh, while supplies last. But anyhow, if you are active, you've got to remember creatine is essential to life. Without it, you cease to exist. That's right, you die. That's how important it is. Your body manufactures creatine because it's part of that energy cycle. Um, ATP to ADP for burning for fuel, you need creatine. Um, that's why as an athlete, it's important to have those creatine reservoirs full for when your muscles need a burst of energy. How are you going to accomplish that? You can't eat red meat all throughout the day. It takes too long to digest, so your creatine stores are going up and down. Your body's just producing enough to keep you maintained. You want to burst, you're going to have to take in a supplement. Now, the other thing I need to say is, there is only one form of creatine that works. It's the gold standard, and that is creatine monohydrate. It's the most researched form, and it's the only form that you want to use. All other forms are rubbish. Don't use creatine HCL, creatine AKG, creatine nitrate, creatine who knows whatever. Those are all made in China, and all they do is take creatine monohydrate and they cut it with some acid, so you only end up with 30, 40, 50 percent creatine, half and they're charging you the same price. Their whole claim to fame is it goes in the solution better. Who cares? Creatine monohydrate is already water soluble at the levels that we are taking. We're not using 40, 50, 60 grams uh, at a time like these other types of creatine. So creatine monohydrate is the only form you want to use. Now creatine monohydrate is not stable, so you want to use the stable form of creatine monohydrate, which is the patented crealkaline form. This is the buffered creatine monohydrate crealkaline. Creatine, as soon as it hits water or the stomach acid, instantaneously starts to convert to creatinine. And creatinine is a bile waste. Creatine is a bile fuel. Creatinine is what causes all of those side effects. Water retention, um, stomach uh, issues, diarrhea, cramps, uh, headaches, you name it. That's from creatinine. So you don't want to be ingesting creatinine. You want to make sure that you use the stable creatine crea uh, crealkaline. So there you have it. Continue to eat your red meat, but you are going to need to supplement with a creatine product to maximize your gains. Recuperation, recovery, endurance, stamina, strength, you name it, creatine does it. All right, I hope that helps, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.